Collect the best spot in Bangkok in this video. Instagram able, don't miss out. <laughs> Welcome to one day trip with the best spot you don't miss out in Bangkok. Let's start our trip here at the Temple of Emerald Buddha or Wat Phagao and the Grand Palace. These two amazing places are located together and are the ancient landmarks that have been with Thailand for long times. You can spot them easily as they have the stunning white wall. We have a new landmark to show you and here we are. Is this a Napalan tunnel? Let's check it out. This is an underground walkway with decorations picture of Bangkok and there are a sitting area where you can relax and chill. This spot is much visited for everyone who loves taking photos and that is the Queen Lens room here. Here, we arrive at the entrance door to Wat Prakel. This is a popular spot and you will see a lot of people here. Temple of the Emerald Buddha or Wat Prakel was established by King Lama I in 1782. It has been a loyal temple since the Sukhothai period, with a difference from a ordinary temple, it's no living quarter of Buddhist monks. This temple is located in area of outer palace with enshrined Emerald Buddha. Also, this is a place where important religion ceremonies are performed. Look at all the tourists here today, it's quite crowded. This place has many loot to follow and let me tell you that it's pretty sticks, so make sure to follow them. There is this code to follow at these instructions and you have to buy a ticket with the entrance fee is 500 baht. It is included for this below programs. There are free map and tour available. Also, there are personal audio guide for 200 baht. Let's go inside. Oh, the first thing we see after coming is the main landmark is the Mulo painting of Lamakian the Thai Apex. That is a lot of temple wall and it is the longest mural painting in the world. It is painted with this color and it is incredible beautiful. The garden is so bright. The main color of temple are gold and white and the way of daylight reflect is really nice. Here we see the new landmark in the temple is ancient stone door. You can see it decorate a lot of temple. This ancient stone door has become the latest highlight of temple since July 21. It was discovered during the renovations in the Grand Palace area. Some stones were remarked by Chinese alphabets, and some of them were captured in the old photo that had decorated it allowed the palace. So, the king ordered to preservations, restorations, and decorations of this stone to be displayed in their original or nearby locations allowed the temple. Let's move to the main highlight of this temple is Amulo Buddha that enshrined in this place. We have to take off the shoe before coming. Oh, this is not allowed to take a picture or video. So, let's come and see it by yourself. It is just so beautiful. I mean, I cannot go describe how much I enjoy my time in this temple. Let's follow the path to the Grand Palace. Along the way, we can enjoy the Mulo paintings. One thing you might notice that we are in the Grand Palace area is lower of gold color and increasing of white color. So a great atmosphere. Many tourists dress in Thai costume taking picture in this area. This place has several palaces, but it cannot to take photo or videos. However, I recommend coming here to take a walk and experience it. I really enjoy here. This place is collect of architecture, art, mural paintings. Also, the beautiful Emerald Buddha. But be sure to dance up nightly because it's so serious here. Let's go to next stop. This is Wat Po. You can walk follow the white wall of the Glass Palace to the next block. Wat Po is on the opposite side. This is the first royal temple of King Rama I, established for the monk who study the Dharma. The entrance fee is 200 baht. After entering the temple, we claim across the first highlight of the place. This is the Twist Hermitage. This is decorate allow the temple. The Twist Hermitage is 
a collection of traditional medicine and knowledge. King Lama III combined the stretching movement with Thai belief in hermits, create a statue of a twist hermit. The statue depicts Indian yoga pose that promote health and reduce stress. Originally made of clay and now made with synthetic alloys, there were originally 80 hidden hermits, but only 24 remains. It is just a short walk away, and then I am stunned by a group of four hill pagodas. Four hill pagodas decorated with glazed tiles and colorful mosaic. The grand pagodas representing of the King Lama the first to the fourth. This is one of the main highlights is epigraphic archive of Wat Po. It's decorated around the temple. UNESCO had registered 1,431 stone inscription at Wat Po as memory of the world in 2011. Also, Wat Po is regarded as Thailand's first university and a center for traditional Thai massage. And this is the main highlight of Wat Po. Follow the cloud and you will find yourself at the main attractions. We have to take off shoe and keep them in the shoe bag provided by the temple. Oh, check out the painting on the wall. But hold on, because here it is, the reclining Buddha. This is giant Buddha statue is one of the biggest in Thailand. And it is absolutely stunning. This is very beautiful. Wat Po is not just a temple, it's a collection of architecture and history of knowledge to be explored. Make sure you don't submit out any of the highlights. And now, let's move on to our next stop. Wat Arun is our next stop. This is really popular and Instagram ever will love this place. It is really easy transportation from Wat Po. By cross the road to Tha Tien and follow the path for a minute until you see the boat that will take us to Wat Arun. The boat costs only 5 baht. Follow the clouds, hop on the boat, and let it take us across the Japaya River to the other side where I drop off the entrance of Wat Arun. And we arrive at the Wat Arun Pier. Let's walk follow the path, it will direct at the entrance door. Water Run and Trans fee is 100 baht. The temple has special lightning from 7 to 10 pm, which gives it a different, beautiful mood. If you get a chance to cruise on Japaya River at night, this is the absolutely best spot for you. Don't miss it. The first thing we see is a pair of giants standing at the entrance. Of course, everyone who visits has taken a picture with them. Water Run is another temple with a lot of ancient stone door decorations. Quite similar to Wat Pagao. It is time to the main attractions. Let's go to the landmark spot. This is a beautiful place. The temple had access in the Ayutthaya period. There was a construction of a large pagoda that decorations by seashells, glass ceramics, and other beautiful designs. This is the most outstanding architecture beside Japaya River. This temple is super famous among tourists and Instagrammables because of the beauty of its architecture and color. Many tourists come here to take a photo in Thai traditional costume. Every corner of the temple is beautiful, so there are always a lot of people around. The temple located beside the Japia River, which means there are always a refreshing breeze blowing. It is a perfect place to chill and relax after a long day of sightseeing. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoy with this trip. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out our next destinations. And please leave a comment, like, and share. Thanks for joining me and see you again in next video.